You might think these donor devices are useless AF, but don't ever think low on anything because actually such things as Dake, Mirror, and even Hydrant can make a great use on this game. So here I'm gonna talk about the most underrated zona devices that actually can be a handful. First of all, let's talk about stake here. You might think, huh? What's good as a stake? It can only be useful for building something. But hold on. Hold on. This thing can actually save you a lot of time. As you can see, if you combo this stake with your recall ability, you can easily go back to wherever you came from. Another good use of this invention is, if you want to do some good deeds with these Koroks, I know we're having a fun time torturing them, but anyway, you can do this too. We know what they really want is to reunite with their friends, so why don't we help them, right? So there's a Korok right there, and let's take it back to his friend up there. Just grab the Korok and place it on the stake. Be careful when you place the Korok because we don't want it to fall when we're on the way up. Then, just use the recall button and now back up we go! And it's a tip for me, if you want to deliver this car easier and don't want it to fall down when they're on the way up, just attach the platform to the stake and place the Korok on top of it. Now they're safe and sound. Bye bye little one. <laughs> Next one is the bomb. Aside from its explosive use towards things or any other living beings, it actually has a secret use, without the need to explode, don't worry. Okay, so you can fuse the bomb to your shield while facing the Lionel. Now what's the use, you ask? No, we're not going to explode that poor thing. What we need to do is to run towards the Lionel, then jump! See? It's so high. Then adjust your position so you can land directly on top of the Lionel bag. Then just attack. It's that easy. Let's do another test so people won't call it a lucky shot. Easy peasy. Rest in peace, my friend. Now let me ask you guys, have you ever run out of energy when gliding? It sounds right. I know. But worry no more because we have a solution. Just use this hover stone and land on top of it. This way you can recharge your energy and continue your gliding. Also, if you want to get to the upper ground, you can also use this zona device. What you need to do is just shoot an arrow that has been fused with the hover stone on top of you and use your ascent ability to get there. Once you're on the hover stone, shoot another arrow on top of you and do the same. But please pay attention because you need to stand back here every time you want to shoot your arrow. Otherwise, you can use your ascend ability. This hover stone is also useful in battle. If you're stuck at aiming, you can just do exactly like this. Wanna take a shot on the Lionel? Let's give it a try! Shoot your fuse arrow and then use the ascend ability. This way you can get a better look at the Lionel. Jump down and aim your arrow towards the Lionel head to weaken it. This way you can easily get on top of the Lionel back and beat it. Yeehaw! From now on, fuse your shield with mirror because oh my god. You won't believe what could happen. 
See, there's a bunch of enemies right there, and I will just use my shield on them. See? See what happened? They just got stunned. By what? Yes, by the mirror. Have you ever thought about it? It also surprised me the first time I found that. Just look at this. Look how easy it is. I can do this all day. But as what mirror needs to reflect likes, it needs like. Of course, duh. At least for my son. So this method won't work at night. But hey, it's still fun, right? Now everyone must know that hydrant can be used to make a slap on lava. But it's actually beyond that. Not believe me? Let me show you. First, it can be used against a fire-like worm. So every time the fire-like worm spew balls of fire, you can just use the hydrant to extinguish the fire. That simple. This way, you can easily walk past them or even attack them without worrying about fire. Another way of using the hydrant is by fusing it to your weapon. This way, you can easily break the enemy's armor. And last but not least, when you're against Gipto, you can just pierce your weapon with the hydrant and the fight will be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, we're done with the list and I hope it will make you realize that even the most underrated zone devices can actually be extremely useful for you. Remember to never look down on anything.